Good morning, everybody. It's Sam. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my art room. If this is your first time here with me, let me say thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope you'll hang around. I have an interesting, something exciting to tell you in just a few. Okay, it is time to pick our color combination. If you've never been on my channel before, let me explain a moment. I take and get my colors from a computer number generating app. I have labeled all of my colors. I am up to 342. What I do is I enter the parameters in the app and it generates numbers for me. Now I do this four times and I have to use the four colors that are generated. I can add additional colors if I feel like I need to to make something more beautiful. I also have the choice of my embellishments, glitter, glass, so forth, butterflies, whatever I want to put in there, I have the choice to. I just have to use the four colors generated. So without waiting or delaying any longer, let me get our numbers. And my iPad's almost dead, so I gotta do this quick. Number generator right there. Okay, one, the parameters are 342. All right, our first number, 249. Second number, 227. Third, 87. And the last number, 192. Look at those high numbers. All right, it made it for us. I need to plug this thing in. I'm out of cords. I bought like nine at a time and between everybody taking them and them dying because they're cheap, I'm out of cords. Gotta go buy another one. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do is pull these numbers, mix up my resin, figure out what I'm gonna add to it, figure out what project I'm gonna do. But let me tell you the exciting news. I am doing a giveaway. Yep. I am trying to build my channel. I need subscribers. I need likes. So, I am going to be giving this away. The Ocean Basic Pigment Paste by Just Resin. Look at the beautiful colors. This is uh, to make gorgeous, gorgeous ocean scenes. I bought two of them, but I only meant to buy one. And the shipping from Australia to get it there and back, it's just going to be more than it's worth to return it. So I thought my loss should be somebody else's gain. What an easy way to earn or win some fabulous products. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment. I need to know who you are so I can give you a number back. After I've reached a thousand subscribers, yes, yes, I said a thousand. I know that's an extremely high goal. We'll see how long it goes. If, you know, it just goes on too long, then I'll cut it off and we'll go from the numbers that we have. Um, if I don't get back with you within a couple days, then you need to send me another message so I can get you your number. So this is a great giveaway. Let me add, this is from me personally. I'm not affiliated with Just Resin at all. I purchased their products and purchased one too many. So I'm just gonna give it away. Somebody is gonna get, get what I should not have gotten. Does that sound right? I don't know, it's early. You know what I mean? It is gonna be a nice treat for somebody. So get on there, like, subscribe, and comment. And you might as well share it if you want. All right. So I am going to pull our colors, mix up my resin, do my thing, and I'll be back. Hey, guys. I wanted to show you my color wheel, how I have everything numbered, legit, legitimately numbered, all of them. Some of them you really can't see. The 179, I know that they fall in between. 178. Uh, there's my casting crafts, all the different colors. There's my Prolexes. There's my uh, Bombay inks. There's some of my Micas. Here is my Micas that I generally use. And you're not going to believe this. I have one through 59. 
and I don't believe it, but out of all numbers that I need, it was drawn and I can't find it. It goes 86, 88. So it's a gold. I have done something with it and it really would have gone great with our color. So I promise you, I have not pulled it or anything. I just don't know what I've done with it. I just switched the boxes from here. I split it up because there was too much for one box. So I don't know if it's gotten lost. I've looked through here. Oh God, my nails I've been painting. Go look at them. Every time I get on here, I've been painting. But that's how it goes. There's 37. So I, I just don't know. I don't know where it is. I've looked around. I mean, of course I got projects going on. It's not the to be filed pile. I don't know. I don't know where it's at. So I am going to pick another number. Hold on. All right, guys, I'm holding the film or the phone. I'm going to generate another number, 314. Okay, I'm going to have you guys look with me. I'm going to turn you around. Don't get sick. Um, hold on, 314, 314. That is going to be, 314 is going to be, I believe, in, oh, in the drawer. 318, oh, crap. What is it at? 314 is a red alcohol ink by Michaels. It's by the Casting Craft. See my little note? Some of them that have, for some reason, gotten out of order. This is what I've done so I can make the changes and know where everything is. So, as I said, here's the alcohol ink by the Casting Craft. It's the red by Michaels. Or Bria Reese. Red Rouge. Okay, let me put you back up. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, I'm just still flabbergasted that I can't find 87 out of 342 numbers. The computer generated the color I was missing. I know y'all are thinking, mm-hmm, yeah, that sounds fishy. Honestly, I, w I wouldn't do that. I want that color. I don't know where it's at and it's messing up my system without the number where it's supposed to be. So, I don't know where it could be. If I threw it away, got misfiled, I don't know. Okay, so the colors that we chose, or the computer chose for us, is going to be a resin pigment by YRYMHT, and it is the color amber. Very pretty. Then I'm, I've chosen uh, Alcohol Ink Flamingo by Ranger. That was one of our colors. I'm sorry, I said I chose. That was one of our colors. The next color was 87. That is lost. The next number is 192, which is Cobalt by Pixis. Then the last number is 34. I mean, 314. I wrote where I can't even read. 314, which is um, an alcohol ink that I got at Michael's Red Rouge by Bria Reese. And then the colors I have chosen is going to be Mint Green by Sig Wong, an alcohol ink. And then my new Just Resin Pigment Paste in the color Titanium White. Just open it. That's number 320. Because I am going to attempt a blue. I haven't had success, but I've watched and I've watched and I've watched. And the only way to learn is to try. Now, I know I need alcohol inks to do this, and I have a pigment. So, what I was thinking is I'll put that in the middle, just a drop, with my colored rocks, which is, this is what I've chosen. It's a rainbow. So, it'll kind of go with those colors well. Okay. So, I've already put my resin in. By the way, my resin of choice I absolutely love is Clearcast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, um, crystal clear, and this is really a budget-friendly resin. I mean, if you're looking for a new one, if, you know, you need a better break on cost, you need to look, check them out. I order it five gallons at a time. That's how good it is. I'm really glad I found it. Okay. I put a little clear in here. Oh, I'm a poet, didn't know it. And first time using titanium white. 
I know you just need a dab. A dab will do. Now mix it up. Mix it up. Scrape the stick. Scrape the stick. Looks like a hair in there already. Or is that just what pick? No, there is a hair. That's on my stick. I'll put that over here. Okay, let me try that again. Thankfully, it didn't get in the paste. That would have been working forever to get that out. Okay, so I've wiped both sides. So there's enough left on the sides in here to do this little bit of resin that I have. This is going to be for my lines for my flower. My bloom. Let's hope. Come on, y'all. Fingers crossed I get it this time. I mean, come on. I have tried and tried and tried. I know it takes the best of us, or the best of artists, to get it when they first started trying. I'm guessing. I'm hoping. It's not just me. <laughs> you want to get it where you can't see the stick. You just can't see it. I really don't know if I have too much, not enough. I'm just going by what I've learned. And really, it's kind of too late. This is what i got to roll with. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Now, I'm going to drop my alcohol inks. Oh, <clears throat> let me find the middle first. Mm, looks about right there. One two, three. We'll see what happens. It's not really center. How about that? Hey, Doke. I don't really see why this can't work. I know it's not an alcohol ink, but all right, I have four colors, so I'm going to do a rainbow. Do that one, that one, that one, that one. Let's go with, I can't remember what colors don't do well by each other. I'm just gonna go with it. Look, that squirt right there in the middle of that. My goodness. Okay. Go with the cool ball. This seems to be pretty good. Okay. And run my little stick around here. I'm not exactly doing well, am I? You know, I believe I might, I might not have said it this video, but I'm new at learning resin and everything I've learned, I've learned on YouTube. I happened to catch a video. I used to work with UV resin, making jewelry. And I was looking through for ideas for UV resin and I happened to find come across a video for a free form bowl using epoxy resin and I watched it and I was like hmm I went and bought some resin the next day 
And ever since, I'm hooked. I'm hooked, I'm hooked, I'm hooked. I never thought I always said, I'm not gonna do epoxy. That's too messy, too difficult, too much work. I got an alarm going off to tell me that it's time to get my resin. Let me turn that off real quick because I know I'm on it. Okay, that's off. Okay, I buried that. I got my colors in. I got my white mixed. Now, only one thing left to do. All right, y'all. I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. I'm just going to do the circles. Not doing very thick, am I? I didn't make up enough white. Just didn't make enough. Now, first thing I see is I didn't make them thick. Oh, that's probably going to be a problem. Okay. Oh, let me get some of this out. It's a blobby. Any other blobbies? Okay, so now I'm going to pull in and pull up, being careful not to touch the bottom of the mold. I'm going to go ahead and do my main ones. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it in. Right? I really hope this turns out this time. Anybody that knows what they are supposed to look like, I don't really have to tell me. Because, you know, somebody that doesn't realize what a 3D bloom is with resin, you know, they're like, oh, that's beautiful. But they don't realize it's not what it's supposed to be. Okay. Now... I'm going to do a swirly swirl, but not too much because I have those rocks down there. Okay, I know my center's off and that's driving me crazy. 
Right now, I just want it to bloom. There's nothing I can do about the center being off. It is what it is. Maybe it'll flow down during the process. I'm going to add some heat to it using the um, heat gun. I'm absolutely petrified of this heat gun. I actually have bad thoughts about it because it's so hot. Okay. Here we go. Just add a little bit of heat to it. So it'll bloom. Aww. Oh, it blew my circle. I don't know how people do it without getting things all messed up. I'm over here tearing everything up. I'll fix that in a minute. What do I do? Make it bigger? And then it'll be in the center, right? Hey, I just want this to do its thing and do it right. Do it, do it, doing it well. Do it, do it, do it well. <laughs> Singing to you guys. Okay. Well, I've added the heat that I can add, which I don't see any bubbles at all, as usual. And um, all I can do is wait, wait and let it cure. So what I'm going to do is come back in a few hours. We'll see what's going on with it. Let me, can you see it? Let me bring you down for a close. Not perfect yet. Let's hope it blooms. Let's hope that the titanium white, I used um, cast and craft before. That's what I had. So let's hope that the titanium white is the ticket for me. Let's hope. Okay, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Good half a second to you. Hope everyone is doing just fabulous. I am. I'm super excited. I did wait to have my coffee before I came out. So here I am. Here's my project. Fingers crossed. This is looking pretty good in the back. I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous. Come on, y'all. Think happy thoughts for Sam. It's really been tough. I've been using the cast and craft. This time I used the Just Resin Titanium White. Is that the difference? We shall see. Ready? Bam! Hmm. It's better. I got blobbies, but that's my fault. Look at this blooming. My glitter's a little off, too. But overall, I think I did better than I have. That's for sure. So I'm getting there. I am getting there. I'm going to try again. And I'm going to try again and try again until I get this. Everybody else can do them. I'm sure I can, too. I just got to get it down pat. I got my resin down pat as far as the temperature-wise. 25 minutes. So, yep. That's what I'm talking about. I got me a bloom. It just has little imperfections. Just like me. <laughs> okay, well that's all for me. Uh, one final reminder. Get your like, subscribe, and comments in so you can be in the drawing. Okay, that's all for me. Bye. Hey everybody. For some reason I deleted the unmolding of this. As you can see, my bloom did much better than it's always done. So evidently I've done better with the Just Resin Titanium White. Uh, I have some blobbies, yeah. But look at the bloom, it did much better. So now I just need to work on my blobbies. So, that's what I got. Sorry you didn't get to see the unmolding, but it's really the last result that matters, or the final result. So that's all I have for today. Until my next video, I hope you're doing well and have a safe and prosperous 
day, night, something. You know what I mean. I'm lost for words right now. Okay, take care. Bye.